This is a quick demo of the board flare fuzzy match add-in and we're going to look at the fuzzy match function within that add-in which is very similar to the excel x match function and you can see up here in the function signature it has a argument of lookup value lookup array the same as x match but there's an additional optional argument for the, the matching threshold which can be from zero to one it's going to output the row the same as x match but it's also going to output the input value and the match and the similarity um, so let's go ahead and um, show you how this looks so we will pick that function and this is going to be our lookup value and this column is going to be our lookup array and we're going to don't forget to uh, f4 this this is going to be our our return value so this is a custom data type um, and we can look at the card and we can see this was our original lookup value this was the match that it found this is the row of the match and lookup array similarity and if we want we can display any of these values as additional columns um, just simply by click using the data types um, selector there um, so and then we can copy this down and we can see the results for everything so it's pretty straightforward again it's the reason why we return the input value and the match is so that you can quickly see um, them side by side um, because as you can see here these are not the correct match even though if we look at similar similarity the um, let's just shrink the size of these columns a bit here the the score is actually not too bad but it's these are completely different companies and that's sort of the highlights the issue with fuzzy matching in general um, there's nothing specific to this add-in it's just the way these algorithms work they work by changing the minimum number of letters that can be changed from one to the next um, is how it's determining what the similarity score is. Anyways, that's a quick overview and uh, enjoy your matching.